Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's Jay from Mitoso Crafts and we're an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Today is the Creating Kindness blog hop and I share this card on our blog and it's using the wildly happy foxes with the to a wild rose stamps and wild rose dyes and I'll be sharing with you how I colored the fox and creating another card uh, so you will need the wildly happy stamp set to a wild rose stamp the wild rose dies and I've used the stitch label uh, there topper uh, and the flourishes those two I'll, I'll be using as well as the watercolor pencils and I'll be using the pumpkin pie basic black and early espresso chalk marker and memento for the sentiment as well as the smoky slate in second generation I'll be stamping I have already actually colored one or two uh, but my other phone died on me during the coloring of it so I'll do another one so hopefully this time it won't I'm just using the Stamparato squid pad so this one this was the card I originally done I colored that ages ago and just created the card around it this one I've just done like 10 minutes ago <laughs> and yes the phone died so I'll be doing that and for the card base um, you will need I'm changing it up a little bit so I'm gonna try and make this a little bit um, simpler than that one so, so uh, crumb cake cardstock a uh, strip of or spare scrap of pear pizzazz card the satin ribbon black satin ribbon there and I have gone ahead and pre-cut my flourishes as well so I've done that in mossy meadow two of those and old olive as well as the other one in Old Olive. There we go. And this one, the label topper was actually the off cut from the, the first one. So that's in Smoky Slate. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna start coloring and at some point I will fasten, fasten, <laughs> increase. Yeah, I'm gonna fasten the video so hopefully um, you get the idea of coloring in the watercolors so we will do the smoke slate and just do the other end of that and the stamp so tap 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 stamp off so you'll get the second generation on there so it'll be lighter there you go so with this one uh, the original I actually did in Versamark so it's like no line uh, coloring but I it was harder to see with the light um, on the video so I decided to do it in Smoky Slate I'm just gonna zoom in And I'll probably do the do this uh, fairly quickly, so it won't look as um, defined as the other ones. But first off, with the pumpkin pie. Oh, I have a tip for you. With the watercolor pencils, they normally come um, like that, with the tip on. Oh, can you see? With the tip on top. So what I've done is I've actually just turned them upside down, so you can easily locate which colors you need to use 
So just a quick tip for you. So pumpkin pie, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover most of the areas in pumpkin pie lightly because when you when you do when you use coloring pencil the pressure that you add on against the paper also the um also kind of like makes a difference so i'm just going in lightly i'll just double check where i am i'll try and keep it in the same area as well so going in lightly and I'm just gonna color um, the tail and properly just outline where I want the orange pumpkin pie as well. So the, I tend to just go back and forth um, or you can do hatching like that for more texture there's also the circular motion, which is like that. But most of the, the time, I kind of like just do what is easier or what is comfortable for me. So I've got my other card as a guide. But I, as I said, I'm just going to cover it in... pumpkin pie and using the lines as well so what I'll do is I'll go through some of the techniques that I use if I concentrate on the tail and then work on the body and head uh, afterwards and then I can fast forward the video so I've pretty much laid down most of the colors. You can go in with a darker color or you can increase the pressure against the paper. So for example, in here, I wanted it darker because that is the head of the baby box. I don't know what they're called. Um, it's quite, it's very, it's on the tail. So that will create a shadow. Or you can add the early espresso underneath as well and just add a darker color that way. So I'm using that underneath. And I'm just cross hatching it. I quite like the, um, the texture that it creates. And then um, you could also go in on top of the pumpkin pie to mix the colors. And then even the basic black for the really dark areas. So it'll be underneath here. So that is pretty much the basis of the coloring um, that I'll be doing and so I'll be using the different strokes so the circular motions hatching oops, hatching like that so short lines or cross hatching when you go the other direction or back and forth like that okay so I'm gonna put some music on and carry on coloring.
There you go. All right. So we have Sahara Sand. Let us zoom out. Hold that in half. And we're going to have that there, and then we will have these as well as underneath. Okay, so if you want the same slanted, you can take it over. And then cut it with your snips or if you don't so then that will have diagonal in the same direction so if we're gonna have it there and just do there in tape Just gonna sit down and use your grid paper to make sure it's nice and straight. Ish. gonna stamp in the background uh, we'll do pear pizzazz and this one the one with the bit of stool in it that there so I'm just gonna have it up and that at the bottom as well so just a hint of stamping on the background and actually if I do it that way So I'll add another one there. And turn it. Mm. Okay. Add the uh, ribbon across that stock that's slightly over but that's fine and then I was just gonna prop that on dimensionals stick that one there no, actually, I'll leave it as is. I'll put that right at the bottom. Just to keep it nice and easy. So that looks like it's in the middle okay people are quite noisy outside 
and I can prop him on dimensionals. So the mini stamping dimensionals would be good for the smaller areas but the big ones would actually be great for the body but I'll just do these that's fine and then what you can then do is use the die cut Flourishes to feed through underneath. How are we? There we go. So I'm going to use one of the dark ones up there. And you could always cut the stalks as well if you prefer. And then I'm just gonna have that there and underneath. And you can even cut we'll cut that off. the sentiment somewhere there so I'm just gonna have that is that moving up on top stogi outside mm. okay I guess that's where that's going <laughs> Just be careful when you apply your tumble because that will make it sticky. So you can use your embossing body just to unstick that. And finally, we'll do the sentiment. And so we'll probably do the so tiny, so small. And then you could always put so love by all inside. But I'll just do. That's so tiny, so small. And I'll just cut the. Can I cut that? Sorry, this is. I haven't used this one. And I don't have any nails. There you go. Right, let's see. So I just want that. See, so what you could do is either if you have a marker use the marker to stamp or you can just get the marker or you can just see where you're applying the ink and just double check there we go and then stamp it on the pair process card that's good enough so cut that up and cut that up it is slightly bigger so I'm just gonna trim that by hand again At the bottom, and yeah, got that. It's not the straightest, but it'll do. 
Nee. Nee. Actually, I shouldn't have got that. That one would have been better. Yeah, okay, I'll put that back in. <laughs> go oh I still had that so I might just cut one or two just to get rid of that in the middle And that is done. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me. So I'll just put that there and that there. Zoom out. So that's the pre-made uh, pre card that I did before. And that's the one that I've just done. So thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share our video. Uh, you could also find product links in the description below, as well as the next video for the Creating Kindness Design Team video hop. Um, thanks again, and happy crafting. Thank you. Bye.